In today's video, I want to share with you how do you identify trend reversals. Specifically, I want to give you two strategies to identify trend change before they happen. I want to show you some telltale signs or how do you use certain tools to determine if a trend is going to change or not. Now, you should be excited because in today's video, I'm going to reveal certain secrets that cost us a lot of money to learn. Okay, we went for other classes. We learned from other gurus, other educators to learn this uh, theory. Okay, and uh, how you can actually use this uh, Dow theory to identify a uh, trend change. So this is what I'll be covering in today's video. The first thing I want to do is I want to convince you as to why you need to learn trend reverses, even if you are not trading counter trend. Okay. A lot of our videos, we do not advise you to trade counter trend, but this does not mean that you don't need to learn how to identify trend reverses. It's still important. So I want to start off this video by convincing you that you still need to know this. Then after that, I want to go into the two strategies. Okay, strategy number one will be how do you use the break of structure? Basically, you are looking at the market structure to identify if a trend change is in play. Then the second strategy, which is something that is very unique, chances are you won't find it anywhere on YouTube. Okay, it's not something that uh, we, we rip off from someone. It's something that we paid good money to learn. And in today's video, we are making it available for you for free. Okay, we're not charging you anything to teach you this. So really hope that uh, you take notes for this, you apply it, right? Because this is a powerful concept that will help you to either get good trades, you know, at Short, short the market at the high or buy at the low or it help you to manage your trade. Let's say you are doing a trend trading trade, uh, you are trend following and you have a long position and you want to know when to exit, you can use this Dow theory as well. Okay, so I really appreciate you could just take three seconds to like this video, help us to reach more traders. As you can see, we do a lot of videos like that to serve you, right? We are very unselfish in sharing with you uh, the knowledge we know. So really, really appreciate you just take three seconds to like this video, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon, okay? So that you will not miss a video from any, you know, any other videos that we create, right? That will help you become a better trader. We also have a free day trading guide. So just make sure you download it. It's free, no catch, no credit card required. Just download it. The link's in the description. So let's go into today's video. So let me convince you why you need to learn trend reverses, even if you are not trading counter trends. Right? If you watch our other videos, we always say do not trade counter trend. But this is why you still need to learn trend reverses. So typically, a lot of people think that when it comes to trading reverses, they think that it's like this. You know, it, price is in an uptrend and you are trying to short at the top. So this is what a lot of people think about when they say trading trend reverses. But in today's video, I want to show you another perspective. And that is even in a, you know, with trend setup, okay, in this setup over here, let's say the trend's up, okay, even in a with trend setup, what you are still looking for is you are still looking for a retracement. So let's say you are, you are in the uptrend and you want, to, you want to buy up. You expect price to go up. You still need to wait for a trend reversal of the counter trend. Basically, you want the counter trend to change back to a trend. So in this case, this portion over here, you need to time your entry well so that you are able to get in at the right time and with a good stop loss and tight stop loss that help you make good money so in this case you are still looking for a trend reversal but in this case you are not looking for a trend reversal in this case where it's you know it's against the trend but it's you are looking for a trend reversal of the counter trend so this is why you still need to identify you still need to learn how to read trend reversals okay again i'm going to uh, repeat i'm not saying that you want to look for this kind of setups where you know trend is definitely against you when you're trying to short at the top I'm saying that even in a with trend setup like this, you want to look at the counter trend as price retrace down, try to identify when the market has changed, something like this. Let's say the price comes up, comes here, form an inverted head and shoulder, left shoulder, hit and right shoulder comes back up and then you start buying. Okay, so this is why you need to learn. So let me show you the two ways that you can do, uh, you can identify these trend reverses. Now, strategy number one is called break of structure. If you read our free day trading guide, we always talk about identifying market structure. A lot of our videos, we say that market structure is the first thing that you do whenever you analyze a chart. Okay, I don't care which strategy you apply. It could be day trading, swing trading, it doesn't matter. This is the first thing you want to do. So what do I mean by break of structure? So suppose you are in an uptrend now and uh, uptrend is defined by a series of higher highs. So you have a higher, you have a higher high, Okay, I just call it HH. 
you have a low and you have a higher low. So this is the definition of a uptrend. Okay, if you are new, this is the first video you are watching. We have all this covered in the free day trading guide. So just get that if you are still confused. Now, this is an uptrend. So when does the uptrend stop or when is there a telltale sign that uh, the trend is about to reverse and we are no longer in an uptrend? Very simple. When price breaks this higher low. So price makes a lower low instead of a higher low. Instead of doing this, it comes lower. Okay, so if it makes a lower low, this is the first telltale sign that uh, the structure or market structure has been broken and we are now in a downtrend. Of course, this sometimes what will happen is that price might come here and then it comes back up and it starts resuming its uptrend like that. But in most cases, if it comes, make a lower low and you see that it comes up and it goes back down and it breaks this again, then you are officially in a downtrend because you have a low here, you have a high, and you have a lower low. So this structure has been broken and you are now in a downtrend. Of course, the opposite is true. I'll just uh, run it through quickly. Let's say you are in a downtrend and uh, this is a low, this is a lower low, this is a high, this is a lower high. And instead of price making uh, you know, a lower low and lower high, it comes up like that and it makes a higher high. Then this is the first telltale sign that uh, the market is about to reverse, the trend is about to reverse. And if it comes back down, what you can also see is that it's kind of like a uh, inverted head and shoulder. Or depending on uh, where the market stops, if it stops somewhere here, there's inverted head and shoulder. If it drops further, then it could be a potential uh, double bottom. But this is the first telltale sign. And of course, uh, if price goes back up, and uh, you know this is a this becomes a high and this becomes a low, and this is a high high, then you are officially in a uptrend. So let me show you a chart just to illustrate this. So right here we have a uh, low, uh, sorry, a high. Okay, just exactly like how I drew it just now. It's just the same thing, just that this is in the charts. This is a high, this is a low, this is a higher high, and this is a higher low. And it makes another higher high. But this time, watch what happens with this low over here. It makes a, this is a higher low, sorry, let me just write it properly. Watch this low over here. This low is actually lower than uh, this. So you can see that this is a telltale sign that the trend has changed. In fact, if you, if you see this and you look left, this is kind of like a left shoulder. This is a head and this is a right shoulder. It's kind of like a head and shoulder pattern, which is a reversal chart pattern. So this is a telltale sign that the market is going to uh, reverse. The trend is about to change. And in this case, uh, price carries on to break this low. And what you have is a, it becomes a low here. This is a high and this is a lower low. So this is how you identify uh, a pos possible trend change. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, regardless of whether uh, you want to identify a trend change in this case, let's say you bought somewhere here and you want to exit here, or you are trying to enter in uh, with the trend trade setup, you need to know how to identify this. So if there's something not clear, right, you're not too sure about how to apply this strategy, there's something that I'm not too clear. Uh, firstly, I apologize. If not, please leave a comment down below, right? Just get your questions clarified. Write to us, email us, let us know if you need any help, okay? We we'll always read your comments. So if you need any help uh, regarding any of these concepts, just leave a comment down below. Okay, that's strategy number one. Now, strategy number two is the powerful concept which you will not find anywhere else, okay? This is called the Dow Theory, okay? If you study the theory, like let's say you read books about Dow Theory, uh, you will find uh, something like this. So there are basically uh, six tenets of Dow Theory. This is found on Wikipedia. Okay, I just did a quick uh, Wikipedia search for you to show you what you'll find on Wikipedia. But what happens is that all these are theory. It doesn't teach you practical things. And as we mentioned, this channel is all about giving you practical, actionable strategies that you can use. It's not just theory. We don't just want to talk at you. We want to give you actionable steps that you can do. You can apply to improve your trade. So if you look at this Wikipedia and find out what the Dow theory is, uh, you will notice this portion over here. And this is the portion that uh, we are going to use uh, to, to identify a trend change. Okay, I'll just read it to you. Uh, it says over here that the medium swing or secondary reaction or intermediate reaction may last from 10 days to 3 months and generally retraces from 33 to 66% of the primary price change since the previous medium swing or start of the main movement. Okay, so the key is 33% to 66%. 
This is the key. So let me show you how do you use it, okay? I want to give you the instructions first, the, the step-by-step -step guide first. Then I will switch to the chart to show you how I use it in real time, okay? Step number one is that you want to use the Fibonacci retracement tool and you want to make sure that you have the golden ratio, which is a 0.618 level uh, in your Fibonacci tool. This is what we will use as a gauge about whether the trend is going to reverse or not okay if price is supported at 0 0.618 then we can say that okay the trend is not ready to reverse it's still likely to carry on this trend but if the 0 0.618 level is broken then that's a telltale sign that the trend is weakening you might potentially see a trend reversal then the next thing you want to do is you want to grab this fibonacci tool and uh, use it from the recent swing point okay again i'll go into the chart to show it to you and i also have a pro tip over here uh, if you are new to trading and you know you can't really identify line charts, uh, sorry swing points, you can't really identify which are the swing points that you should be using. Then you want to switch to the line chart. Okay, the line chart will show you precisely where you should be focusing, uh, or where you you should be drawing the Fibonacci tool from. So now let's go into the charts and I want to show you how to do it. So this is TradingView over here. Okay, it's a, tr a free platform. Uh, you don't have to use TradingView. You can use any platform. But uh, in this case, I just want to use the TradingView because it's the fastest. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to pull out the Fibonacci retracement tool. So what you can do is just come over to here and you just go for the Fibonacci retracement. So if you were to draw it, you can see that there are many levels. For the purpose of this video and how to use Dow theory, you just want to be focusing on the 0 0.618. But in this case, I'll just leave the other values on. So what you want to do is you want to find a recent swing point. Okay, so let's just assume that uh let's just assume that uh we are looking at somewhere here. Okay. So you can see that uh Euro dollar has been in the uptrend for some time. Okay, it's it's quite clear that we are in the uptrend. So you can see uh this is a swing high. This is a swing low, uh, swing high, uh, higher high, higher low, so on and so forth. Okay, so we are in an uptrend. So has this uptrend uh, been, you know, is, is there a sign that Euro dollar is about to reverse? Let's draw the Fibonacci tool. So as I mentioned, you take the recent uh, swing point, you can take here to here, drag it up. Okay, let, let me just zoom in. And yes, you can see that the 0 0.618 level, which is over here, has been broken. So this is a telltale sign that the trend has changed. Okay, so earlier, if you were to go back into history and you see over here and uh, you draw it, you can see that uh, it, it, it slightly broke it, but in the end, it, it went back above. So you can see that this is not entirely foolproof, but it's a good gauge to tell you if the trend is changing or not. So moving it back over here, let's, uh, let me just get it right. You can see this 0 0.618 level is uh, broken. So there are two ways you can use it. Okay, you can use this. Number one, let's say you enter a trade somewhere here and you're in profit and you want to know when to exit. You could have exited somewhere here when you saw that the 0 0.618 level is broken. Okay, the golden ratio is broken. Then you can exit. Okay, that is one way you can manage your trade. You can use it as a trade management tool. The other way is that let's say uh, you were thinking of buying, but you see that this level is broken then you might want to lean towards the reversal side where you're actually looking for a sell instead of a buy. So this is a very powerful tool. There are really many users you can do, uh, ways you can use it. Depends on how you want to use it. But um, the way I like to use it is just to tell me if you know this trend is healthy, should I be buying with the trend trade or should I be you know, looking for a reversal? So in this case, I'll definitely be looking for a reversal to the downside because the 0 0.618 golden ratio has been broken. One more thing I want to go through before I end off this video is to change to the line chart. Let's say you are new and you cannot identify that this is a swing low and this is a swing high. Okay, what you want to do is you just want to switch to the line chart. Uh, take, your, take the levels, okay, just map it something like that. Okay, map it something like that. Change back to the line chart and you can see, okay, so this is the low and this is high and then you draw it like this. So this is how you can use the Dow theory. Okay, it's a very powerful concept that um, no one teaches. Okay, it's something that costs us a lot of money. But I really hope you appreciate it. You really apply it because there's no point in watching this video, you know, us giving you all this value if you do not apply it. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let us know. So I just want to recap uh, today's video and then I'll just end off. Okay, so in today's video, uh, I shared with you why you need to learn trend reverses even if you do not intend to trade counter trend because when you are trying to trade uh, you are trying to time your entries. Let's say you are trying to trade with the trend and there is a retracement. You are trying to wait for that 
counter trend retracement to resume back into its trend. So you're still waiting for a trend reversal in that sense. Then I share with you the strategy number one, which is a break of structure. If price is in the uptrend, higher high, higher low, lower making higher high and higher lows, then you want to see that the uh, higher low is broken and there's a change in structure. Okay, the converse is also true for the down, uh, the opposite, meaning in the sell trade, right? In a bear market, if you're having lower low and lower highs, then you want to see that price makes a higher high. Then I went on into the Dow theory, which is basically using the Fibonacci retracement tool. You want to look at the golden ratio, 0.618, 61.8 6, level. Uh, if price is, price is expecting that, then you can reasonably assume that the trend is still intact and you should follow the trend. But if this level is broken, then uh, you, you want to lean towards the reversal trade or you want to exit your position or stay out of the trade. Okay, so hopefully this uh, video has been helpful for you. Really appreciate it. if you just like this video, help us to grow, right? Hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon if you have not. Okay, look forward to connecting with you if you have any questions. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.